today I'm going to show you how to make a motor that works like this. We're going to need a crab stick, magnets, the stronger the better, a nail mold, copper wire, AA batteries, two paper clips, and some aluminium foil. The tools needed are scissors, pliers, sandpaper, and a hot glue gun. First take crab stick and mark the length of the battery, then cut it using pliers or scissors. Remove rough edges by rubbing the piece on a sandpaper. Cut to small round pieces from the end, we're going to use it later on. Take the paper clip and straighten it out as shown, then bend the paper clips as shown in the video. Make sure you make a loop at the end of the paper clip. Then using hot glue gun, glue the piece of sticks to make a shape like a, a battery holder. We're going to use this to hold the battery and to make the base structure for the motor. Glue the paper clips to the battery holder that we just made. Use enough glue so that it doesn't come off and also when you're done with it, bend the ends of the paper clip so it doesn't stick out. Wrap the two ends using aluminium foil. This is going to be the contacts for the battery. Now take something round that has a diameter of about 1 inch and then start to coil wire around it. Coil the wire about 30 times.
you're done with the coiling, take it out really, really slowly. Tie knots on each end of the coil so it doesn't unwrap. You could also hot glue it if you don't want to tie knots or if you don't know how to tie knots. Make sure that one of the sides of the uh, coil is sanded properly so that the full insulation is removed and on one of the sides only half of the insulation is removed. Refer to the picture, that's going to give you a better idea of how you're supposed to do it. As you can see when you use the sandpaper and rub the end of the coil with it, you'll see uh, little small pieces of uh, wire enamel coming off. As you can see the color of the wire inside is different from the color of the wire outside. That's because there's a layer of insulation on the wire. We need to remove that to make electrical contact. Be sure on the other side you only remove uh, half of the insulation. Now time to assemble the whole thing, put the battery inside the holder, put some magnets on top of the battery, the more the better. Put the coil inside the two paper clips and as you can see it should start spinning. If it doesn't spin just give it a small nudge or just move it a little bit and it should start working. As you can see my one was balanced enough so it kept moving to the side but if you have a balanced coil it will not move to the side. I hope you guys found the video useful, a link is provided in the description box where I provide more details on the build. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if I make any mistake forgive me and let me know about the mistakes so I could fix them.